I'm I'm blind on this podcast because our lovely producer Sheikh who likes to do this to me just he loves to throw people <laughs> on me. Time I'm gonna miss you after lockdown. Hanging in the penis when the sun's out. Cause I really feel like we're on top now. Live fast, die young, it's what the streets said. And you listen to more to that than what your mama say. The way of Will John. Podcast has started, people. We are back again. First off, I just have to always as Shout out to Sid, who's kind of like the sponsor of this podcast at this point. Okay, Sid set us up with this dope studio. Shout out to Clarion Hotel Sign for having us in here. And then shout out to the guests. No shout out to Obama this this week. We'll leave him alone. But uh, Isabella, what's Hi. up? Hi. Um, um, first off, do people call you Bella? Yeah, they do. Is that okay with yeah. you? Yeah, that's okay. You can okay. call me Bella. It's not like, because people sometimes, like my dad's name's Emilio. Yeah. My last name's John. Yeah. And when he first came to the US, people started calling him EJ. Okay. And he didn't like it. Okay. But he just went with it. But actually, my dad used to call me Issa. So you can't call oh. me Issa if you want to. Issa. But yeah, Bella. but most people call me Bella. This, so. is a perfect, this is a perfect segue because... CK over here is about to do a freestyle with Issa <laughs> and Bella. You re- Y'all already know. <laughs> no, okay. All right. Well, CK, what's up, man? What's up? Yeah. How you doing? You I'm good? all good. Life is good. Life is good. All right. Well, cool. I meant to say, I mean, I meant to say Aesop Racky. <sighs> there on, it is. Nah, Wait till you guys man. see this. If you're only listening to this podcast right now, Aesop Rocky is on the podcast. Double okay? banger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, first we should get into who you guys are. I don't know enough about both of you. I'm I'm blind on this podcast because our lovely producer Sheikh, who likes to do this to me, just he loves to throw people <laughs> on me. So Isabel, what's up? Who are you? Well, who am I? I'm from uh, Southern Sweden, mm. uh, and uh, yeah, I've been doing music for like my whole life, basically. But uh, yeah, I started off like into the local music school uh, when I was about like 11 or 12 years old or something like that. Okay, and uh, then I moved from the city where I grew up when I was 15 to study music in another city, like an artist producer uh, school. Um, and then I actually moved to London and okay. lived there for a while and studied music there too. And I had a band that I was uh, having a, like shows and gigs. And So wait, do, but do you sing? And also, are you throwing a little shade at your city? And she didn't name her city. This is the first person who's like, I'm from Sweden, right? You She's like, I'm from the oh, south okay. of Sweden. I'm not going to say the city because fuck that city. They didn't do anything. And then I moved to London and hit it big, started doing concerts. And now I live in Stockholm. <laughs> That's it. No, it's not like that. But n- like nobody knows of the city when I like when I say it. Skåne. Malmö. Kristianstad. Oh. Mm. <laughs> That's why. No, I don't know. How many you people? You know it. Yeah. You know it? He knows yeah. it. What do you think about it? <sighs> no comments. <Yeah. laughs> have you been there? Yeah. You have? How come? Been playing football games there. Oh, really? What team is down there? Kristianstad. <laughs> Kristianstad. Yes. Oh, are they That's what? The uh, Division what? 1. Division 1. Okay. Used to be. Used to be. They get relegated. Oh. I think so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I the don't know much the about uh, this, but. the main sports in Kronstadt is handball. Oh yeah, it is. Yes, that's the big that sport I know. down there. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's weird. Yeah, handball is not they, a sport that we have. In they the won US. like the Swedish <laughs> championship like a few years ago. In handball. Yes. Yeah, handball. Okay. It's huge down there. Yeah, we don't even know what that is. When I first got, to, I swear to God, when I first got here, uh, and here, I mean like Europe, I moved to Denmark to Randers to play. I played in Randers. Oh, okay. I had never seen handball. I'd never seen it. I didn't know what it was. That's and a big sport in Denmark, guys, isn't it? Oh, mm. Well, Denmark, I played in Croatia. It's a big sport over there. Oh, yeah. I, th- I don't know where else it's big. Who's big? Germany, maybe? I don't know. France. Yeah, Germany. France. France. Yes, yes, France. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. All and right. Kristianstad. <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's cool. So now you're here, and now you're just dropping sick. You got a single coming out? Yeah, soon. I hope, hopefully October. What's the whole thing behind this single? Like, what's what inspired this? Uh, actually, like quarantine, basically. Okay. So yeah. It's a quarantine drop. Do yeah. you feel like this has inspired you to do something better? Is your music getting, or is it getting more depressed? Is it getting? Um. No, I just think like to me, it's been like giving me some time to finish my stuff and release stuff, and I've been releasing um, a few songs this year already. So okay. this is going to be the fourth song this year. Fourth song this so, yeah. year, which is not normal. No, not for me. <laughs> oh, okay. You usually take what? Like, do you make a song and then you you tour and then... No, I released my first song in 2018, actually. 
Okay. So uh, I mean, I was writing for a few years before I was like ready to release I gotcha. uh, what I was writing. So uh, I released my debut single in 2018 because I signed with a small label and they helped me with the release and everything. No way. So uh, and then um, it took about half a year or something, and then I released the next one. So that was like a the bit time. of a gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I was like, next time when I start releasing, I want to release music like like two months. I got gotcha. gap. Okay. In between, so. All right. That's, yeah, that's dope. I, yeah, you sing, you produce all your music, you do everything. I don't produce. You don't produce? Uh, no. You just sing? I sing and I write. You sing and you write? Yeah. You write the lyrics, you mean? Uh, yeah, and the melodies. And, and the melodies. The, the top lines, yeah. Okay. But can you play an uh, instrument? Uh, yeah, I can play a uh, piano a little bit, but uh-huh. I'm not very good, but yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect segue once again, ASAP Rocky. So, ASAP, <laughs> listen, your last album didn't do so well. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's up? So you have some music back. Are we, go ahead. And, we haven't even gotten the introduction here. Hey, exactly. tell, us, tell us what's up. What it do? Where are you from? Where I'm from? A small town called Vecre. This is a Swedish? Yes. Yes, sir. Vecco. 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 Small fun town. Fact, fun fact. It's the uh, most rainy city in Sweden. Rainy? Is it? Yes. Where is depressing it? City. I thought that was Gothenburg. <laughs> Vecco is worse. Is it? It's depressing there, huh? But shout out to Vecco. 352. <laughs> for life. 352. <laughs> for life. Is that your guys' area code? <laughs> yes, there you go. Oh, my God. The 352. <laughs> In Sweden, how many people are in these cities? Like, what's a small city no, for you guys? Like si- six people? Like no, you and your, no. you and your, <laughs> you and your family. What's I think small? We got more people than Kristianstad. Oh, yeah. we got like hundred thousand. We have a computer here. Yes, yeah, let's see who's sitting. Yeah, hundred thousand. I think that's not small. I think Kristianstad is about the same, actually. Okay. Hmm. Yes, hmm. but check maybe. the facts. <laughs> Please cool. check the facts. Check the facts. Look at the spelling of. Say that again. Vekhe. Vekhe, uh, Where are you guys seeing a K there? Where do you see the, a K? The X. Vekhe. I don't Vekhe. know. Vekhe. 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 There's no K in this, you guys. It's spelled V-A-X-J-O. Uh, 66. Oh. Oh, 66 uh. That's almost oh. basically 70,000. My bad, my bad. 70,000 yes. in Vekhe. And in Kristianstad. Which I can't wait to see the spelling here. <laughs> oh. It's going to be Z-R. <laughs> Something like that. I guarantee you. You don't even know how to spell it. Is that the is that the issue? I got it. Okay. Mm, forty thousand. Forty thousand. Oh Shout gosh. out to three five two. <laughs> man. Oh, three five two with the win. But that's the inner city. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. I got. It. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. a lot of countryside. Wait, there. is so is this in the, where is this exactly? Where 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 on the map in Sweden? Southwest. It's not too far from uh, Kirchhoff. It's like okay. maybe one hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. Do you guys in the south, how far south down? He's about to click on it so that I get a good idea. Because they tell me that people like down in the south, like some of you guys can speak Danish. That's not true. Everybody says that. And then when people are from the south, they come here and they're like, I don't speak Danish. No. And Why would like, I? You should yeah. understand each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I just, we did a, I did a video with a Swedish uh, influencer where I spoke Danish. And oh, really? And he spoke Swedish. <laughs> and we can understand each other. I mean, there's, you know, there's enough words that get across. That's mm. like, you know, but, uh, okay, we can finish, man. You could, first you did a shout out. You said the 352 hey, and 352, that's it? 352, CK, uh, still playing football. I was a football talent first. Mm-hmm. But I always been spitting bars though. Okay. <laughs> always on the down low. Yeah. But then it was like I had a lot of friends that was like, "Hey, you need to do this for real." Right. You need to put these bars <laughs> to the studio. Okay. And I had a friend that I he was my roommate actually for maybe one or two years, and he started doing music like producing. And that's how we got started and then I was just chilling with him and I was like, "Hey, let me hop on the mic." Yeah. And now everybody was like, "Hey, this you just, is nice." They just what? They just threw up a beat for you, yeah. and you just straight up nah, freestyle. I was writing. Oh, you were writing. On, I, I don't know. I maybe you're like Jay Z. Yeah, exactly. Maybe you're like Jay. I ain't Jay Z. You listen to the beat for five minutes. You hop up no. <laughs> from a mic and you just spit no, this no, no, classic. No, no, no. But yeah, I always love writing like bars, real bars, not like bullshit. Uh, I give you two bullshit. bullshit. I got, uh, <laughs> yeah. Nah, okay. like real bars. Yeah. So. 
that's been my thing. And what, been, what's, can I just, sorry to interrupt, but like what's inspired your, to write real bars? What is you, what do you pull from like, in your life? Life, I've, people see me as a, the funny guy, but I've always been a deep guy too, actually. Mm-hmm. Like, I only listen to like real music. Real music for me is like Kendrick, J. Cole. Lyricists. Like, yeah, lyricists. People that exactly. yeah, tell stories or I have can't something. even listen to like trap. The, the mumble rap? <laughs> Hell no. I you don't like mumble do rap? Like some music though, like, okay, Future or. Yeah. Yeah, okay. some music, but not a lot. Yeah. And so, I don't know. So like, you don't know what you're pulling from? Like, you, where'd you. Where's your heritage here? You're. Angola. Angola. Mm. Do you speak Portuguese? Fala português um pouco. Um pouco? Um pouco. Só um pouco. Um pouco. Ok. That's, That's all I know, man. Um <laughs> pouco. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds pretty good, though, right? Yeah. It sounds so good. <laughs> ok. What about you? Are you fully Swedish? Mm-hmm. 100%. Yes, I am. Can you track back your family, like, to... Ok, not fully Swedish. Um, oh, there like... it is. There it is. Where else? <laughs> what else you got in you? Uh, no, I'm like, uh, part Finnish. You're part Finnish? Yeah. My you... my grandma's from uh, Finland. She, yeah. Have you been there? No, I've never. Yeah, yeah, I've been there actually once. I went there on um, and now this last like uh, February, okay, because uh, I was gonna go there for um, to have a session, a writing studio session with an artist from UK, and she was gonna go there to support Burna Boy show. Okay, I don't know who that is. Uh, it's an Afrobeat artist. Okay, Burna yeah. Boy. Are you huge. serious? Yeah. He's like one of the biggest. At the Burna Boy. Moment. Yeah. No. Nope. Is that Afrobeat art, artist from Nigeria? Bro, I'm up. I think it's he's from, from Nigeria. Nigeria. Is he Nigerian? Yes. Burner boys. Yeah, how do you not know? Bro? Come on now. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, everyone who's listening to this podcast goes, "Oh, obviously he doesn't know." I it's I intentionally stay out of. Maybe I know a single, but I intentionally in music I don't know anything about the artist that I'm listening oh, to uh, on you, purpose, I and I don't. I tend not to listen to the news. This is my news. Yeah. If I need to find out something about Burner Boy, you will see him <laughs> on the podcast eventually, <laughs> That's and we'll talk about You're it. Go ask him. I don't need to hear from CNN or I Fox. Hear you. That's <laughs> how it is. I, you know, that's just, that's just me. All right, well, cool. Um, okay, so that's why that's how you well, got to Finland. So yeah, I went to Finland, uh, to Helsinki, because um, Adenike, shout out to Adenike, my uh, friend from the UK, she was going to go there to support his show. Uh, oh, okay. So I went there to uh, watch the show and watch her perform and also to have a session with her. Gotcha. How'd it go? It was good. Uh, nice. What, uh, this digital show that we were trying to look for. Yeah. Is this something that happened because of quarantine? Yeah, it was, uh, because it was basically like, um, it was a show, uh, because they wanted to, uh, I think they was kind of trying to create like a, an opportunity for artists to perform and to, uh, yeah still okay. be able to perform all but the how did it work so you were alone on the stage or and everything like that and they were projecting this out or what was the deal uh no i had um i had actually a drummer with me on stage and also a guitarist on all right. stage. so um, uh and also a but no one was bit. in the crowd no one was in the crowd no yeah but okay it like i get a, it yeah, yeah. Mm. it was like a festival so gotcha. uh, there were like a lot of artists and i was performing like five or six songs or something like that okay all right yeah. that's dope where are you spitting your bars at lately? In the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> are y'all laughing? I'm dead serious. Yeah, yeah. no, we gotta start. That's where you start, man. In the shower, serious. in the bathroom. No, but my, the kitchen's my friend, yeah? he got everything like in the kitchen, literally. He got a, like a little studio set up? Exactly, in the wow. kitchen. Where's the single? Where you got a little, like, single? you're on Spotify, I'm assuming. Yeah. I got a whole album. The whole album, is it on Spotify? Green Tea and Bullshit, check it out Green right tea now. And bullshit. Green Tea and Bullshit. Green Tea and Bullshit, you know why? <laughs> no, tell, tell me. Because, man, I love to stay healthy, bro. Okay. So before I spit some bars, I need me some green tea. <laughs> and what we doing? We spitting some bullshit up and down. <laughs> so you get some green tea. Our other podcast, by the way, shout out to Tyler and B, it's called Biscuits and Tea. That's the name mm. of our other podcast. And we just, uh, we're looking for a tea sponsor. Okay. So when we get the hookup, we'll just, you know, we'll throw it your way. Tell them we, got, we know somebody Holland. who spits bars. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's cool. No, sometimes we make uh, music for, um, we do sponsorships for mm. like some of these companies. We did Epic, I think Epic Performance Bars. It's like a, whatever, uh, like a, what do you call these bars? That do, not protein bars, but you know what I mean? 
the stuff that you would eat before you work out, those yeah. pre-workout yeah, things. Yeah. And the so chocolate we, bars or kind of no, they're meat. This is a weird thing. Yeah. I don't know, and I can't. Yeah, sounds disgusting. Oh. See, this is the thing. This is the thing. I love you guys, Epic. I love you because they let us do whatever we want in the sponsor videos. They like because we get crazy. We always do skits and like crazy comedy. Like mm-hmm. before that, some companies when you do stuff like that, you send it to them, and then they have like a legal team. I'm not going to name names. I can tell you guys off air. But there's this one company, huge. You know who they are, and we've done sponsorships for them. When we do ads for them, and we stick them in videos, you know, for them, they have like a full legal team that reviews everything, and they're like, "I don't like the way you were smiling here in this one. Can you take that out? I don't like the way you took a. It's so, it's so impossible. It takes like (laughs) six months. It took us six months to just do, you know." One thing, but anyway, yeah. point is that sometimes we make little rap bars and do all this, all this stuff, you know, in there. So I'll be calling you. I'll be calling hook, you. Hook me up, bro. You know, you send me that check too. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Check. <laughs> what's what's end game for both of you? I'll ask you first. Like, what's what's end game? Like, where are you trying to do? Are you trying to stay here in Sweden and do the stuff? Do you have the uh, hopes to maybe be in LA, New York, or Paris, or what's where are you trying to go? Um, I think I used to actually. I used to want to go to LA, mm-hmm. um, but then I went there for a vacation, <laughs> and I was like, I don't, I don't think I want to live. You don't here. like it. What didn't you no. like about LA? I I thought it was superficial. Well, it is but, superficial. It's LA. It, yeah, what did you? Was, I don't know what you thought you were gonna get. <laughs> but. It was yeah, it was superficial. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. But I liked it. I had fun. But I I don't think I would want to live there. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, you meet cool people and you have fun and sure. you go to a lot of cool places. And There's yeah. a lot of that. I mean, I, I don't want to diss L.A. or California in its entirety, especially California is huge. But yeah, like it's LA, beautiful there. It is, yeah. it is. But the whole hustle and grind that's going on in L.A. is going to create that superficial. Yeah, you know what that's I mean? the thing. Just everybody trying to mm. hustle to try and climb on top of each other to be the mm. next best thing. So you're going to get a lot of that and you have a lot of the good stuff yeah. too. But, but I, I do like uh, London. I used to live I love there, London. Yeah. and um, I, I, I'd want to go back. Yeah, uh, but um, I, I don't know. I like Sweden too. So yeah, okay. So, but you, you but feel I do want to release music like worldwide. Worldwide, yeah. That's definitely. the thing now. So you don't have to move. No, right? you can do fine. Yeah. yeah. Who's the biggest Swedish musician right now? Ooh, Sara Larsson. I yeah. think. Sara Larsson. Yeah. Sara Larsson. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And I actually, I actually know. And who else? Is there somebody else? No, it's a good question. It's a good just question. one. There's just one. No, huge we have Swedish? nationally like um, uh, a lot of uh, Swedish artists nationally, but yeah. uh, internationally, I believe Sarah Lotion. She's number That's one. That's it. Where's yeah. she from? Mm. She's from Stockholm. I she's think. from Stockholm. She here. Sarah, what's up? If you'd like <laughs> to get, uh, <laughs> if you'd like to come on the podcast, that's perfectly fine. Hold on a sec. You got it. I got it. You got it. All right. Good. Um, <laughs> what was I? Okay. So Endgame. Yes. Yeah, big music. You're on Spotify right now. Yeah, I'm on Spotify. Okay. Yeah. How's Spotify going? I don't even know the whole Spotify game, and it's okay. Yeah. Like, is it slow or is it hard to pick up and get a following or? I don't know. It's uh, yeah. I don't know. I think that um, I think that you need to like you be, need to be lucky and just get a good pitch and uh, get on playlists and everything to get there's a whole game yeah and then, then there's it's all a, the yeah. algorithms that are gonna connect with each other and, okay uh, yeah so yeah it's hard if to like to me it's been hard actually okay have you started so yeah then? but I think the streams are fake though like what do you mean for some of the big artists yeah I t- I mean I've read some articles on some big, big artists, mm-hmm. and I know what some of the labels, so it may not even be like specifically, like we're talking about Sarah Larson, like she may put out a, a song, mm-hmm. and then you see like on YouTube, it'll have like 80 million views, whatever it is that it gets into something crazy. They did some research, and they found that some of the labels were like pumping up their their views on many of their artists' songs by buying views or buying likes or buying mm-hmm. etc and normally that would hurt you but for these ultra superstars it doesn't really hurt them because say they might get maybe they'll get a, a song that's up to 80 million mm-hmm. right 80 million views in a week two months whatever the example is maybe majority of that maybe they got 50 and they added 30 i don't know this is just an example but it tends not to hurt those people but if you are starting out and you try to buy streams the algorithm generally knows 
these are fake views. Yeah. You don't get immediately sp- it understands your account is spam. You're buying likes and views and you're not going to build. But if you're already at that top echelon there, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It just looks good for everybody else. Everybody yeah, yeah. Go, oh, they're going to write about it somewhere. hundred million views on her last thing. And that's, true. that's it. And it's that's done. True. It's yeah. done. So mm. then you're going to you're going to ball. And do you know who Clint Dempsey is? Yeah. You know him. Yeah. Can you pull up Clint Dempsey? Yes. Can you pull it up? I remember him, Clint Dempsey. Pull up Clint. You, you, so you know I remember him. that song. Um, him. Don't Tread on Me. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's called Don't Tread on Me. Mm. Uh, yeah, Ooh. I played against it. So this is a rapper. He's a he's a, one of America's most well-known footballers. Okay, oh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, so that's him up okay. here. And if you type in, type in Clint Dempsey rap. So he's from, I think he's from Texas. And uh, he's got this real cool, cool attitude. He'd be a great guy to have on the podcast. Actually, and he's a rapper. Also, he just retired maybe a year ago, a year or two ago. And uh, he was one of the first, first guys. The first yeah, one, don't yeah. tread. Don't tread on this. <laughs> mm, I remember. Yeah, so you remember that? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right. I used to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> this shit gave me. Oh my god! How old motivation. ago is this? This is a long time ago, though, Way right? Way back. 2000 or something. 2000? I played against him in college. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I went to St. Louis University. He went to a place called Furman, South Carolina. Hmm. We played against each other. He's a really unique guy. He's one of my, definitely one of the best players the U.S. has ever produced. He went and he played in England and this was about soccer though. Yeah. It was about him and his growth. He grew up in a, I think he grew up in a trailer park or like a... You sure? So I, I don't know if it was a trailer park but he grew up in real... Not a rough, or sorry, not a good area. I wonder if he's rapping now. He's retired. I wonder if he's just chilling. I think he's chilling. <laughs> he got just, that money. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. You hmm. never know. You're you're young when you retire from football. You can't just That's sit true. around for the next That's 50 true. years <laughs> nah. and do nothing, you know? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, he shows, does he, he shows off his rapping skills. All right, well, we'll make sure to... We'll put this actually up there. All right, but so what do you guys? You been to America? Never, 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 ever, never. Why not? I don't know, but I've been busy. Mm-hmm. Can I ask? <laughs> You've been busy. <laughs> I've been busy. He's been I don't know. You travel a lot. You've been traveling. Just Europe. Just Europe. So you never yeah. been back to Angola. Both not your yet. parents from Angola. Yes. How did they end up here? Uh, it was like a a war. Like there was an, a war in Angola. Yeah, in Angola. Okay. Well, about what? Do you know anything about this? A civil war or like a... a civil war. There's a civil war in Angola. Yes. Your parents fled to... They fled. Do you know about when this was? Oof. That's why uh, we have Sheku. Uh, in the 80s. In the 80s. In the 80s. Yeah. Okay. And so how do you... This is interesting. This is, perfect. This is the first time I had someone who's basically fully Swedish and someone who is... Your, do you feel Swedish? You grew yeah, up here. of course. So yeah, you have Swedish but, in your blood. Uh, yeah. In your blood, kind of. <laughs> Not really, yeah. A little bit Swedish, yeah. Okay, nah, so I feel Swedish. You feel Swedish. So the yeah. Angola Civil War. Yeah. When did it start? I can't see that. 1975. Oh, so 1975. Mm. Wow. Until 2002, exactly, yeah. So that was a long but thing. We couldn't, we couldn't go home. Like, I wanted to, uh-huh. when I was young, uh-huh. I want to go to Angola, but really? my parents were like, nah, we can't go. <laughs> They're Not like, yet. nah, not yet. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's amazing. I had no, I didn't know that. There's just all these little mini wars that have shaped how mm. some people have gotten here. Exactly. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, you feel fully Swedish. I mean, that's interesting. My dad's from Nigeria. My mom was from Chicago. And I was born in Kansas City, hmm. you know? And so obviously I have a very good connection to Nigeria and I've been there. I have tons of Nigerian, you know, football. You're going to play with Nigerian guys and they're all over yes. the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you thinking of somebody right now? You look like, uh, you're like, yes, the Nigerian yes. guys are always a problem. Yeah. You, there's no place in the world that you can go without meeting a Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, they're <laughs> like, everywhere. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Wherever you go. Totally, <laughs> totally. Um, okay, but yeah, as a fully Swedish person, this is, it's a multicultural. I talked about this on the last podcast with some of the, the other uh, other girls that were, that were on here. What do you feel, like right now, based on your your look, we talked about this, you would be the p- picture, the poster child for a Swedish person in the world. Mm-hmm. That's what the world thinks. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that's what Sweden mm-hmm. thinks, but the world mm-hmm. goes blonde. Okay. You don't have yeah. blue eyes precisely, no, right? I but don't. they're fair. Yeah. They're like kind of like, like green. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what, that's what it is. 
what is Sweden like to you? Like, what does it feel like to you? Does this feel like a very, when you feel Sweden, does it feel extremely multicultural? Do you look at the, all of the black, white, you know, Asian community and you feel like this is Sweden or does Sweden feel more like a historical, okay, it was those Vikings that did all that. What feels like Sweden to you based on the people? If you can give an answer to that. Um, I think that's, to me, because I think that's got a lot to do with where you come from. Mm-hmm. And uh, like the area and the city where I come from is uh, multicultural. So mm-hmm. uh, that's like how I grew up. So for you, it was normal to see everybody who's from all these different backgrounds. Yeah. And that just felt like home. Yeah. That's obviously the way it is in the U.S. So it's very, it's almost, it is literally impossible to say who's an American. Yeah. Everybody in here could just be, just, you just can't tell. It's everybody's mixed and that's how you grew up. Yeah. But like you said, it depends on the city that you come from. Mm-hmm. So there are, of course. Or like the area. Exactly. Yeah, like the area. There are segregated parts <laughs> of the U.S. that are just predominantly white or predominantly yeah. black, you know, or predominantly Hispanic now. Because, you know, it's uh, it's growing in that sense. But like we talked about this, the whole there's a European movement for some a bit of like this far right. Like, OK, keep the foreigners out. We feel like this is, you know our home and keep that out. I haven't, I don't know Sweden well enough to understand if that's what's going on, but the sense that I get Scandinavia wise, because I've lived in Finland, lived in Denmark. Now I'm living in in Sweden. This place feels the most accepting of other cultures. It feels very, I see more of, I see more of it. Maybe is Sweden the biggest in Scandinavia? Yes. That could be why. Yeah. Yeah. 10 million. You guys. Yeah. Yeah. 10 million. Yeah. Okay. But did you go anywhere else in the U.S.? Uh, yeah, I went to uh, San Francisco. What did you think of that? Uh, I liked it. Yeah? It's uh, nice. Yeah, it was a lot of cultural there. Did you check out the homeless people? Did you I see them? Saw, yeah, I saw them. Did you see how crazy that is? Yeah, that's so crazy. It's insane. What's going on? You don't know what's going on. No. Nobody knows what's going on. No. Because you have to see it. You have to see it. it. And so the weirdest, there. The weirdest yeah. thing was like when you're on the, like, you know, the tourist bus... Yeah, they basically say like in this park there's a lot of homeless people and it's like look to your left yeah and it's like hmm. yeah they're like they run they run the like they run the block like i don't know how to describe it to you it's you need to go see it's, it's really though. is a rough yeah. thing especially because there's so much wealth it's so it's so expensive in san yeah. francisco yeah, because, mm. because what i read is uh, san francisco is the most expensive city to ha- to buy a house is in it? the us is it oh in yeah. the us in the us okay i don't yeah. know i know australia is also we want to type that in what do you think of the most expensive place to live in in the world angola. i would say london angola I say london. oh yeah you think i could mm. seriously check out luanda what type is luanda luanda is that the capital? The capital of Angola. It's expensive. I know Angola's got some, got some change because the you know the Angolan league pays very well. I've heard that. It pays very well. It's a it's a quality league. I would say London's got to be up there though. Like the center what of London. Do you mean yeah, to buy an apartment or the most expensive city? Yeah, the most expensive city to like own a Hong Kong. Nah, that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah for sure. Type in Luanda. Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo, New York, Singapore, Los Angeles, London, Taipei. London. I knew London would be on there. Type in oh, Luanda. Is, uh, this is the um, the most expensive cities for high class living. Yeah. So it's different when it comes to housing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's but a, the the houses in Los Angeles, like in in the hills, is like crazy. Crazy. Yeah. What's it like here though? Is there a, where's the where's the where are the high ballers living here in Sweden? Or sorry, in Stockholm. In Stockholm, leading up. Yeah, Lide, yeah, the east side, like Estmalm, leading, I think. Yushholm as well. Yeah, Yushholm. Yeah. Yeah, a place called, um, uh, where is it called? It's Yushholm, leading, and uh, Dandiri. Dandiri, yeah. exactly. Because it's like uh, the most Yeah, I've seen the houses places. there. Yeah. Do these people, no, do but they, they pay less tax though? So What like, do you mean they pay less tax? Like Everybody in Sweden, I've heard, just pays <laughs> 150% tax. Yeah. Like you make a dollar and you pay this <laughs> government. And now it's a <laughs> well-known, it's a well-known uh, thing that's been going on for years. Like uh, they're like most uh, wealthy and they're paying less in tax than uh, other areas. So, so that's a bit like the US stuff, but is that because they understand how to use the laws for their favor or is there something corrupt the going on no it's uh could be the politicians know uh, in case they raise the taxes uh-huh. could be that the people leaves 
So they want to keep oh. them there. <laughs> they want to yeah. keep the rich people there. Yeah. So they can keep, oh, that makes sense. So yeah. There's a little bit of politics. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do these uh, people from, so you guys are from the South, right? Yeah. Do you guys, do they have funny, you're from the South too. Yes. So I are have. you guys like weird? Your, your accents, you guys yeah. talk like village people? She does. <laughs> are you guys I like, say, I gotta say, not weird. Weird. you got a weird accent? Not weird. See, it's weird like it's special. Yeah. Special. <laughs> what was your city again? What was your city? Uh, Kirchhansta. I need to hear the spelling. Kirchhansta. Kirchhansta. That's so that sounds but funny to you. It's spelled Christianstad. Oh, it's spelled Christianstad. Yeah. Christianstad. But it's pronounced Kirchhansta. Wow. Look at that ugly city. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I thought uh, I thought you guys make fun of the people from up north, like Umeå. Yeah, they that's sound true. like a little bit uh, as we call it in Swedish, bunder. It's, so bunder. It's ba- basically, my guitarist is actually from up north. Hey, hey. what up? Hey. No hard feelings. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, fun fact: when I came from Africa, the first place I was living, it's called Dorothea. All right. so it's extremely up north. Dorothea. Dorothea. It's like Dorothea. Play, three thousand people. I gotta wow. show you. Okay. Oh yeah. Put it up. I just because I I've heard that uh, Stockholm accent is what it's like, kind of mellow. It's just normal, right? Or normal. Yeah, and then the South. I guess they think so. Oh, okay, yeah, is it like that? They so. think they're better. It's always like that with the capitals <laughs> in every country, yeah. where they think you know we talk correctly, and all the rest of you are uneducated <laughs> and you don't understand. Okay, so, so this is Dorothea. Yeah, extremely up north. Okay. Very cold. <laughs> but that's not even north, though. You can go further north. You know, type in, where's the city that I played in in Finland is so much further north. Like, you guys know Luleå? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so my city was basically, I think, even further north than that in Finland. In Rovanemi. And it's the yeah, home yeah, of yeah, yeah. Santa Claus. Rovanemi. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like maybe... Is it cold? Oh, my God. <laughs> It snowed in June, like, and I mean real snow. The summer was literally two weeks. It was two weeks long. And it, and it wasn't like even, it got up to like 22, maybe, you know? Yeah. And like, that was it. It's done. It's, it's awful. Depressed. Depressed. It's unreal. But you guys over here, I don't know how, by the way, there's a book signing uh, going on outside this. Mm. The book that is being debuted and signed and all these people here are here for this author, uh, that I, I, I met him for two seconds. It's the book on depression and how to deal with depression, oh, really? how to get out of depression. And they're doing it now, whatever, quarantine and COVID That's and relevant. Corona. It's relevant and all that stuff. But you guys over here in Scandinavia deal with a lot of <clears throat> depression issues in the winter, right? What do you do in the winter? Netflix. Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Right? Some go bars. Out. Cuddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cuffing season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Is that really what's going on? No one's giving me a, uh, I haven't heard an answer that makes me understand. Everyone's no, like, that's not true. I think like everybody's just like living like usual. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. But because when I live in London, like as soon as it rains there or mm-hmm. there's a bit of a cold and they, they're like, maybe there's going to be some snow today. Okay. Everything's canceled. Like yeah. the trains and the buses and everything. But here, everything is just running. But you guys don't mind? You don't mind not having any sun? I hate it. Okay. Yeah, like you wake up in the morning, depressing. it's dark. Right. Yeah. You go to your job, you come home, dark. It's dark. Yeah, it's just dark all the time. You can't, yeah, I don't, I've been lucky. Normally the season ends <laughs> and I leave and I go back to the US and mm. I don't have to deal with the winter here at all. But in the summer we get lots of light. Yeah. So that's, I'm okay with that. That's the thing in like LA, the, it's like dark at nine, yeah. nine o'clock or something. It's nice. You got to get to the, yourself to the U.S., man. We got to get you. Got to get you traveling outside of Europe. Where in Europe where have you been? That was so. I love Spain. Spain, oh, Barcelona, Barcelona. I haven't yeah. been to Barcelona. I love it. I've been to Madrid. Ew. Ah, what did you just, you just get your Barcelona fan? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, you guys are having a very rough time yeah, at the moment. Man. Let's not talk about that right yeah, now. Right. Anyway, yeah. how's life? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, no Barcelona fans trying to talk right nah, now. Man. Uh, do you, so what's your football back here? We've got all music. What do you know about football? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> do you know not, anything? Not much. Did you play when you were a kid? No. Never. I, like once. Once. Maybe. <laughs> but it once. was not my thing. Okay. That's really interesting. No. Um, and then my sister had a boyfriend that he played 
That's as much as you know. Yeah, my so sister had a boyfriend that kicked a ball once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's all I know about football. <clears throat> yeah. The end. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. You traveled a bit more then. You played uh, any concerts outside in the U.S.? Were you playing concerts? No. Like? No? no. Okay. Unfortunately. Have you been to uh, Africa? Uh, no. No. Unfortunately. Asia? Uh, yeah. Where? Thailand. Uh, yes. Every Swedish person yes. goes to Thailand. Yes. What do you guys have? Like some little deals? <laughs> like you guys have free, free plane tickets? <laughs> <laughs> Something's going on. No, but, but I've also been to Sri Lanka. Okay. But that's not Asia. It's like... It's Asia, isn't it? Is Sri it? Lanka? Yeah, it, Indonesia. it is. Indonesia. No, it, yeah. it is. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's very close to Indonesia. Man. Yeah. And... Uh, what are you doing there? Um, Surfing. Surfing, mm. you know how to surf. I went to a surf camp. No, I, I went there to, to learn. learn. Yeah. How long did it take you? But the thing is, I went there for one week. And you uh, learn how to surf in one week? It was no, but <laughs> we had like five classes during the week. All right. But it's actually really hard to surf. I bet it is. You stay <laughs> on a board on the water, trying to float across. <laughs> it doesn't look easy to me. No, so. it's like when you gotta you gotta take the board and you gotta go out there, and it's like a lot of waves coming in, and you. About was it to scary? drown so many times. Yes. <laughs> I was oh my like, God. Yeah. And then when you get like out there, there are not too many waves anymore. Yeah. And then you could just chill out there and then, then you're going to catch the wave. Okay. You when can't. You, when you can see it coming from behind. Right. Yeah. You can't surf in Sweden? I think there are some places that you can surf, but I've never done it. I was going to surf in Sweden. No one's going. You guys ski probably though, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you? Do you know how to ski? Yeah, yeah, I, I ski. But I believe mm. if you have like been doing snowboarding, it might be a little bit easier to surf. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. You you look like you haven't skied at all. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, I, skied. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. There's, yeah. Well, you have to go up north to ski here. You can't. Can you ski in Stockholm? Nah. You can't? You, they have a place called Hammarby Backen, but it's not so huge. But it's just like a, it's a hill. Yeah, it's a hill. And when it snows, people bring their skis out. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but it's They have a lift. Yeah, they do have a lift, oh, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. But it's not like you a, don't the have best to walk place. up there with Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you Did gotta it, go north. I, I have this question because uh, was it a couple weeks ago when that first drive by shooting that had happened? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I believe it was three weeks ago, to, okay. be, to be exact. The first drive-by shooting in Stockholm yeah, happened. Yeah, that was uh, no, in Sweden. In Sweden. In Sweden. In, uh, ah, in, in Botchirk. Yeah, exactly, yeah. The girl. I guess. Yeah, a 12-year-old girl got uh, okay. struck. Is there violence in your guys' cities? Yeah, it is, yeah. but... To what degree? Because well, I don't have this picture, just like everybody. What was the stat? This... Um, uh, sorry? The stat, the, st the statistic the on Sweden. Yeah, that, it was uh, 2019. I believe it was uh, number one in Europe. The number one shootings. Shootings in Europe. Uh, it's not shootings in my city. Like, not shootings. There are no shootings in your city? Nah. Are there nice like things? Some, some Stabbings? Shootings. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but not shootings. It's like here in the Stockholm. Shootings is basically three cities. It's Gothenburg, Stockholm, and Malmö. Malmö, yeah. Yeah, it's like and insane. Is there a Swedish mafia? Well, that's a Swedish mafia. There's a that group, right? Yeah, Swedish mafia. But is there yeah. a Swedish mafia? I, I want to know about organized crime. That. I don't oh, speak you're, right. you're not allowed to talk about nah, that? Nah, man. <laughs> nah, but I believe it's um, the kids nowadays are so influenced by you. I don't know what to call it. That's the Could thing. That's why I'm tired of it, bro. Like the violence here. Yeah. Like I did like a song about it. Like I'm There's, tired of it. Like every music, it. everything is about that violence that's going on now. And yeah. the kids, they get inspired yeah. by it. They want to be gangsters too. Yeah. And I'd be like, hey, that's not a good life for you, bro. Yeah. That's a stressed life. You will lose friends, family members, everything. You think that's cool? Come on, man. Yeah, well, it gets glorified everywhere in, yeah. in music yeah, and in all those. And a lot of the successful artists have had those, that either lifestyle before mm. or they're trying. Most of those artists, though, that we hear about, they had that life. They got some success and they're out. Of they course. don't want, they still maybe draw some inspiration from it, but they don't want to still be gangsters anymore. They need to get out of that area and, you know do all that stuff it just doesn't make any you know doesn't make any sense but last time we were on here what do you guys think of america in general before i ask this question what do you think of americans like, sorry not america americans americans for me it's like i think they're driven and dream chases okay. i would say dream chases that's that's not bad 
What are you? Seriously. I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> say it. Don't be don't be afraid to say it. They've already, last time we were on here, I don't remember what. She said, I think she solo said, I'm sick of Americans. <laughs> she goes, I'm sick of them. Sick of them, sick of all of them talking, and they're always doing stuff. Yeah. No, what, yeah, say it. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't know too many Americans, actually. Mm. Um, but what I know of them, like, I don't know, I don't know, like, it's just... I can just base based on when I was yeah, there yeah. and it was very superficial and it's like everybody there is meant to be on TV. So you were just in LA too long because yeah, all we got to do, so. that's all, that's all. We got to get you to like, don't go to Miami after this because you'll, you'll see more of, more of that. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, it's different. It's a very different place, yeah. but like I'm from, I'm from Kansas city. You're not going to find any of that in the Midwest, no. that whole superficial chase and try to, we don't, it's not the, it's not the crowd for that. The country being so big, yeah, you've got different pockets of everything like mm. LA and it's about that Hollywood is about that that's what it is I was is. in Vegas too actually oh you went to Vegas yeah. are you mm. going to tell us about what happened in Vegas because that's <laughs> not you're not supposed to according to the rules you're not what was it like uh, it was fun but we were super jet lagged when we came there so All we right. was going to be there only for like two days uh, that's so, enough I hear. yeah it's enough but we wasn't too you know we went to a club and we was like had we had one drink and then we was like we're too tired we just got to go mm -hmm. back home and yeah um so yeah it was fun but okay it wasn't too wild yeah yeah <laughs> okay well you do have some you must have some crazy wild stories from the tour and stuff like that <laughs> is something what's the craziest thing that's happened to you on tour on uh, in uh, the US. in general no in general because as a musician cd told some crazy he told the story just the absolute madness that was happening on okay. stuff is nothing crazy happened to you i don't know not, nothing that i really? think of right now no I don't oh my think god so. i know him over here i don't nah, even bro, yeah, don't I even just, don't listen, even listen, hold listen, back listen, i'm dead serious i just got started bro I just got yeah, started. Too, so okay. the thing with me is I'm not there yet, but believe me, it's going you're gonna, to you're make some crazy stories, 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 stories are coming for sure. <laughs> what about on football? Football. Crazy That's a lot of stories. Exactly. But, yeah, yeah. I know this well. <laughs> Where to start? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I'll tell you I'll tell you some some of the crazy stuff that's happened. I don't know where to start with me also. All right, so my, I started my career in the US, mm. right? So I played three years in the MLS before coming over here to Europe. Everything on the West, it's like a line. You can draw a line down of Europe and on the West side of it, more or less things happen very organized. Germany, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland, all these countries operate on rules. Contracts are okay. When, you, when they say, we're gonna pay you on the first, you get your money on the first. And then once you cross a certain line in Europe, I, I don't know where I would draw this line specifically. I would say like Slovakia. Maybe, so that's a good yeah, start exactly. right there. You go right there and you cross over this line. All of a sudden, it's, it's a free for all and anything goes, anything goes. You could sign a contract for three years and they'll just be like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care what, what's on this paper. We can decide to give you less money or we can decide to give you a whole bunch more money under under the table and so i know football is going you've only played here though no i played in germany actually okay so how was that it was nice That's nah not nice i played in a small town it's called fullendorf it was okay. near stuttgart and the thing was it was so small bro it's like they never seen black people before oh it was one of those yeah so when i came there everybody was looking at me when i was just <laughs> walking down the street everybody was like hey it's a black man <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah that was strange for me actually like did you I, react to it or did you i was cool in the beginning then it was like it was me and another black person from london and then we we hit the club then we go into the club and like we're with our teammates and our teammates are like German people like, yeah white people this is a small club like in a small town yeah okay I already know so where they want to go in like they're going in mm. now it's my turn and my my friend and the guard be like hey stop we were like hey we with them they be like nah ice cold I was like what wow and they're like, nah. And then our friends, they came back and they were speaking in German, like, hey, what's going on? And he was like, hey, they too drunk. 
<laughs> okay, were you? Hell no. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Like in Germany, we were ballers, man. We would right. just start drinking in the club. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't let you in? Nope. Wow. And what? We what? start beefing, but. Okay. Let's not talk yeah. about that. <laughs> you can't put that one on. Yeah. Well, I've had, it's, it's unfortunately because, uh, b- believe me, basically every football player that I know with an uh, African descendant have a similar story. If they've played in a certain part of <laughs> yeah, Europe. Yeah, because I was actually, this was two years ago. I had like a tryout in a place called Niepolemice. Where is this? Outside What? Krakow in, in Poland. Okay. Oh my. Come yeah, on, bro. It's like six, seven thousand uh, inhabitants. They were playing in the second league. I was there for three days. They gave me a contract. I'm like, thank you. I'm going back to Sweden, man. <laughs> <laughs> you said no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It, was, it was like. Well, what was the issue? Basically, like, uh, you could tell, like, they've never seen an African before. It's okay. like, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucked And it's up. so small, like 6,000 or something like that. So I'm like, nah, this is good right. to hell. <laughs> that's See, up, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. What is it like to hear stories like this? Have you ever experienced any, as a white woman, and this is perfect because, like, you don't get to talk about these things because most of the time people don't, they don't say anything about yeah. this. Mm-hmm. What is it like for you to hear stories like this? Have you heard stories? Like, do you have any friends who maybe, like, say racist? You're... What I'm guessing is you're clearly not racist in here as you're <laughs> <laughs> so but like have you ever experienced any like thing like that? Do you have friends who maybe say stuff to you or like I don't want these people around me, like I don't know. What is that like? Um <clears throat> I think it's like I said, like where, where I grew up, I I've, I've always had like a multicultural like society around me. Mm. But I think also that society has been different from my point of view. And like people around me yeah of course the yeah experience yeah. is different uh different depending on like yeah 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 your ethnicity sure 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 um yeah. but i just think that i've all i've always been like also very like if somebody expresses something and i'm like you can't you cannot say that yeah like, you cannot say that like around people you cannot that's that's Yeah, it's wrong. Like, yeah, it feels it's weird. wrong. You cannot, you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so I've always been like that. And yeah, um, well, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. Like, like he said, he, that's probably, there probably isn't an African player that hasn't experienced something interesting like that in mm-hmm. Europe. My, my mm-hmm. stories are the same. I mean, once I, what actually happened to me. So you, when you got to Germany, did you know why they were staring at you? No. So that's what happened to me. So I went from Denmark. I signed in Serbia and Belgrade. You know, uh, and so when I got there, I didn't know people were staring at me because I didn't think about it. I was just walking and I would be I would go to the mall. I was with uh, uh, another black guy. My team was from Namibia and uh, we would go to the mall and like grab food, and just like hang out after training. Just this is what you do, you know. And, but one day I went to the mall alone and I was well dressed, you know, um, and I was walking through the mall and people were staring at me. And I thought there was some, I thought I had spilled ketchup or something like all of it. I thought I was like walking around like an idiot. Like I had a hole in my, my zippers down, something like that. And then I realized that everyone was just staring at me because I'm the only black guy in the mall, you know? And I was, it's okay. I understand on one side, I understand. I sympathize with the fact that they've never, they don't get to interact with African people. It's interesting if somebody like, yeah, it's in human nature. Basically. It's yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you don't see somebody who you normally see, you're going to look at them. Where it, of course, becomes an issue is then when something happens on the field or when they start threatening you or when the crowd just cheering monkey chant. Like I've got story after story after after story, you know, and some of them just amazingly bad. Did your teammates back you up? In, yeah, they did. They did. We left the club. Everybody. Everybody left the yeah. club. Yeah. So I, the same thing has happened to me. So that's been really positive on that sense because it happened in Finland to me mm-hmm. which I didn't experience or expect to experience a whole lot of racism it just seemed like it would be everyone should understand that everybody's the same but yeah we were in a club and this guy just comes up to me and he goes uh, he was really he's pretty drunk and I was once again we were partying probably like 12 or 13 of players in the club just scattered out some guys on the dance floor and um, a guy comes up to me he goes hey I just want to let you know my friends don't like that you're in this club and he went to go get his boys and they're going to fuck you up. 
<laughs> Seriously. And so this, okay. I first, I was, jo- I thought he was joking for, I thought it was, this is like a joke. And then like, I realized he was not joking at all. Like oh he was not God. joking. He goes, he goes, no, they're going to come back, uh, with the boys and they're going to fuck you up. So you should probably leave. And so I tell, we, <laughs> we have a, we had a guy on our team who's actually from Slovakia. Uh, and, uh, he's, he, he fancies himself as like a quasi mafia <laughs> member type guy. He's got that whole f- feel and vibe. He's a really big guy and he was our destroyer on the team. So we mentioned this to him and he, where's this, where's this guy? Like, where's, where's he at? And he's kind of like, they back him away and stuff like that. And we, there's kind of like this little discussion that's going on. But what ended up happening is everybody on our team, we all just decided to, to leave. It's yeah, better. It's, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's, it's like, not worth it yeah. to have a whole team fight a whole bunch of other people yeah. <laughs> in a club. But in, in a way, I believe Sweden, it's, um, it's very, very multicultural here and the Swedish people tend to travel a lot. Mm. So uh, the racism in Sweden is not as huge as in, in other countries. Sure. For example, in the Eastern Europe countries, uh, let's say uh, Hungary, or mm-hmm. Poland or uh, the Baltic states, they don't travel that much. Uh-huh. So it's not unusual that when you see like an African or uh, basic from uh, another place, uh-huh. they're not used but to. But still in politics, I think it, like the, yeah, the parties would like, uh, Yeah, yeah, it's, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like a new like wave. It's, it's one, a new so. wave though. It's a new yeah. wave. It's basically all over Europe, like because yeah. uh, the Danish, uh, And the party that was leading, yeah. it's like the right wing. Yeah. And really? Norway had it as well. And uh, definitely Netherlands. So it's like, it, it was a wave after Trump. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, overall, Sweden is very, very, very different compared to other countries. Sure, yeah, sure. I've noticed different. that. There are definitely all these pockets and all these different languages going on and all this stuff. What, what languages do you speak? Do you speak anything else besides Swedish and English? No, English and Swedish. Did you guys have to learn something in school besides yes. English? And French. French, but yeah, you, you don't. can choose though. Oh, yeah. Tu parles français? Non. Is that, is, that your, is, is that your trick again? No. You just have a, like... Je parle français. français. Tu parles français. Ah oui, oui. Très bien. Ah oui. Vraiment. Ah oui, oui. Il a dit que c'est une Uh, ask me a question. Di- dis-moi quelque ask chose. Me dis-moi quelque chose en français. Excuse-moi. De toi. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Parce que yeah. Je parle français. Même. Un petit peu. Un petit, un petit peu. Un petit peu. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. That's interesting. So you could choose, obviously, yeah, to take yeah. French, but yeah, it was in between like Germ- German, Spanish, and uh, French. French. So you exactly. just took a little French, and you're like, just give me my grades. Let me get out of here. Yeah, but that was really hard. French was hard for you? Yeah, it was really hard. I was like, I should have picked like German. Well, how do you speak English? So, how does everyone here speak English so perfectly? Why? You learn. Yeah, but you learn it? Uh, English is the second language in Sweden yeah. because all yeah. the TV shows, exactly, everything is in English. Yeah, that's it. I listen yeah. to like, you just yeah, music. Listen you're to music, up. English, yeah, music and English. TV. Movies, everything. Yeah. 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 Because what I realized, for example, France and Spain, Italy, All of the TV shows is in their language. Yeah, yeah. So, it's dubbed. Yeah. yeah, you guys have subtitles. But also, we study English from age of like nine. From age nine, yeah. you study English. That's yeah. that's gonna do it then. Yeah. yeah, I've noticed even like kids on the soccer field, uh, they they more or less speak English. Yeah, like they Correct. can communicate. They pick, they pick up on words like like Correct. early. Exactly. Exactly. So then you mentioned Trump earlier. What's What is the thoughts? I see some sniggers. Fuck down. <laughs> What's that like for you guys to hear, to see that? For me, it's like, it's a joke. For me. It's a joke, yeah. I actually had a friend uh, from the city where I come from. She went there and married a, an American. And uh, then I, I just saw like she was posting this video on her Facebook. Uh-huh. Where she was like, um, I get so many questions about... Um, <sighs> Like how can you how can you live in that country when like Trump is there and everything, uh, and she was like, actually here a lot of people like Trump. Yeah, that's a, that was shocking. I was like, yeah, yeah, a lot of people like him. But the thing with Trump is that I do like. What's that? He's real. He doesn't he, care. He, he, he just speak whatever he, he says. Everything like anything that's on his mind. Anything, 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 and a lot of the stuff he says is funny. That's part of the exactly. thing. It's like it's it's it doesn't help the country in a whole lot of ways. Mm. Uh, many of the things that he's saying and his rhetoric, his entire rhetoric, uh, it's really divisive. It doesn't bring people together. He's not talking about let's all get together and let's. Do, he doesn't. He doesn't give a shit about <laughs> any of that. It's just if you attack me, I attack you, <laughs> and if you say something wrong about me, that's fake news. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like Twitter fingers. I just think yeah. it's so weird that like 
per, like the election before it was like the first black president I know of the US yeah and then you go back like 150 years yeah well that's that's what normally happens though to be honest people swing one way yeah. and then it swings back the other way and maybe we went a little a too far swing. <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's America swing. that's true yeah. that's but I don't know a lot about politics but I've heard that Trump has done more for black people than Obama did that I don't know i don't know. I've heard that. Yeah. I generally stay out of it. What do you think Me that he's too. done? I I, don't, I have no idea. You don't know? I, no, I just the great it. thing with Trump is he can create jobs. Um, statistically, he created a lot of jobs. Is that because of his policy? Yeah, because that was his main focus. Because a lot of politicians tend to focus on different type of issues. Sure. During the Obama administration. Healthcare. Healthcare was a great issue. The Hispanic um, community uh-huh. had great laws. Um, the uh, what is it called L A B T Q communities as well that are many LGBTQ. laws yeah, yeah. but uh, during the Mob, uh, Obama administration there was no many laws passed for black people so that's why people tend to say that Trump have done more for black people than Obama ah uh, yeah what's well, also right they, I mean they're doing these things in order to also help them get elected and Obama probably felt I think I've got the black vote. So yes, yes. I don't know if I need to maybe let me focus on the next thing that's going to keep me in power. I don't know. Politics is a it's a, not a game. It's not a win. You can't you also can't win. I don't know why you would want to be president. I don't know why you would want to. It's not for a, me. A lot of people think maybe they can make a change, but what, once yeah, you're Kanye there, West thinks so. <laughs> oh, Kanye! Uh, don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. I don't. I didn't pay enough attention. I still didn't see the full video. I only saw a little bit of him making his. No, yeah, the same. thing is, if you like, you know, American politics, it's not possible for him to be. Uh, the time was the time limit was already passed um, so uh, to even. register, and uh, so it was just basic. I knew from the start it's just a uh, PR. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but that's basic. <laughs> that's worth it. I mean, Donald yeah. did the same thing. A bunch of years before the yeah. guy was just running he didn't expect to win all those years back it's good yeah. pr exactly he's on exactly. tv he gets <laughs> out and you know everything's okay which a lot of people don't think he actually wanted to win in the very first like they thought he was just doing it again can i run okay cool yeah. i'll run and then he gains some traction he says whatever he wants yeah it's gonna be interesting in november we have the new you know it's it's almost time for a new yeah president yeah. and yeah, it's joe biden and kamala harris and then yeah Trump again and they'll have these debates which is the debates are always <laughs> telling you some of the greatest you guys don't have any of that here you don't have any of that a little like, when it's cra- election is it, is it crazy no, though yeah, no not that crazy no no I don't and it's a totally different system here as well yeah. for, for you to be a politician in Sweden yeah. you have to be like since the age of 13 14 mm. being the in what the, in the in the party all the way up to the uh, so a normal person can't just run for no, a president no it's, it's doesn't uh, that bother you <laughs> 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 that just get, you, I mean I get it if you need to be born in Sweden no not even born in Sweden you have to be like political uh, engaged since the, at a young politically age. engaged at a young age yes all the way up I, maybe it's a good thing I mean look what we're trying to do with this <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it would just be you, can you be born? You can't be born outside of Sweden and become president. Or no, prime it doesn't minister. matter. As long as you're a Swedish citizen, it doesn't matter. Oh, so as long as you're a Swedish citizen, yeah. So I can become prime minister of Sweden. Is what you're telling me right now? Yeah, that's possible. But wait, so I need to get. I need to put in 12 years of politics. Don't think about it. Don't I'm think trying about to it. figure out Don't how right now it. we can get me to be prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> this guy from. Could you imagine? A, a black guy from Kansas is the prime minister of Sweden. I could do a lot of things for us here. I could bring. Could I don't know. I don't know what my first. Poli- what would be the first big policy? I'll. I'll love Lower the taxes exactly. immediately. <laughs> I will get some sponsors. All right, all right, Sweden, listen up. Let's get some, get, get some legs on this. I'll lower the taxes, and then I'll get Denmark to pay for a wall. I'll get Denmark to pay for the wall. I'll get Denmark to pay for stuff. Okay, oh that's what's up. You got my vote. <laughs> yeah, right there, you go. That was the Trump. Uh, that was the Trump thing. I'm, I'm gonna, not voting for you. <laughs> I'll win you over eventually. Okay, I'll win you over eventually. It's fine. But yeah, I know you guys talk shit on on Denmark. It's pretty funny. But I've I've never been to Norway, which I don't understand. Are you guys tight? I've never with Norway? been there. You never been to Norway? No, not me either. Norway is beautiful. I would recommend Bergen. It's like one of the. I most know Bergen. It's beautiful. Okay. In case you like, like um, nature, nature, nature yeah. exactly. Views. It's a nice place. Yeah, to so see. I've heard. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. All these places up here have nice nature. You guys' yeah. nature over here is unbelievable. The parks in Stockholm and just in Sweden in general, well kept. Everything's clean. It's just nice. There's just that level. It's just so peaceful. That's probably my biggest 
that's one of the things I love the most, how everything works. Mm. It's clean. And just when you need something, you go here, you get the thing, you fill out, you fill it out. It's done. Like that Swedish mentality. Yeah. So mm. you guys have a word for your, uh, what is it? Is it la- logum? What is logum? Explain <laughs> it. I don't even know that one. Is it logum? I believe, I believe it's the only. Uh, it's the wh- correct amount of something. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah. What does that mean? Not too much. Uh huh. Mm. Not too little. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. in the middle. Logum. And there's exactly. another thing called as well, yante logen. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. is this again? Maybe Bella can explain. Okay, it. Bella, <laughs> tell us. I'm gonna try to explain. Yante logen. So basically, like, uh, don't think that you're uh, something. Yeah. So always trying to be follow the flow. So right? don't do yeah. what Ibrahimovic does. Exactly. exactly. You, you guys don't like him. I love him. <laughs> you love him. Do you like him or you don't yeah, like him? Me, I, I say him. fuck Yantelogen. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, me too. But if everybody says fuck Yantelogen, we don't have Sweden, then do we? No. Right. Because then there is no logum. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <There's> no logum. <laughs> we need logum. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Do you guys know what uh, huga is? Like the Danish huga. 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 Yeah. I don't know. You don't know what that is? No. So you guys have fika. <laughs> you guys have fika? Fika. Just, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you take a little... Yeah. I, or maybe I should green be asking tea. you Swedish people. Green tea and <laughs> you take green tea. Some biscuits and... What's fika again? Just explain fika to me. Or explain like, fika to the people here, all these Americans listening, who don't know what fika is. You go out for a coffee. Yeah. That's it? Coffee yeah. and so why do you have a sp- and okay. like lemonade. Yeah, that's fika. That's it. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing special. So why like do you a have a word? Cinnamon roll. Okay, yeah, see, you, you can maybe read it. <laughs> oh, the definition of fika. Yeah, but that's in in Swedish. Someone translate that then. Who's gonna? <clears throat> yeah, it says like it's a uh, when you're spending time with somebody mm-hmm. and you're drinking coffee and eating a cookie. Yeah, <laughs> for it's example. a combination <laughs> with coffee and a yeah. cookie. But yes. there's something more to this, though. You can't have it's tradition. Fika. It's tradition. Basically. Can I have fika at three in the morning after I got done at the club? Like, just you know, we're all right, everybody, <laughs> boys. Let's leave the club. Let's grab a fika. <laughs> let's go grab some fika. <laughs> and like ten guys go to a cafe. Is that fika? You could do that. You yeah. could but you do don't that. do that. Nah, nah, but you could. So, but you could. <laughs> I, I, you know what I'm discovering? You guys don't know what fika is. <laughs> that's what the problem is. You don't know what it is either, and that's it. Because it just sounds like it's just some coffee with a uh, with a cinnamon roll. But I believe uh, <laughs> yeah. I believe it's a generational thing as well. Because I believe our generation is basically on a date or just kicking with the with the, mm-hmm. with the, the, yeah. the crew and stuff. Yeah. Just relax. Fika is basically to, to take a chill time. Just yeah. Re- yeah. Like, it's like, let's meet up for a fika. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just kick it. It relax. means something different. I think, yeah, because it's very close. It's not the same as Danish huga. If you type in huga, it's H-Y-G-G-E. This is like, you go and uh, it's a feeling. Like it's a yeah. real definite mm. Oh, is that in, that's in Swedish. Yeah, they're is describing the what he get. No, no, it's not. It's kind of, but it's not. So, what is what is Huga actually? Oh, they say it's kind of like. Yeah, the thing is, is that it gets translated a lot as cozy. It's not really cozy. It's this thing where you, if you are hanging out, maybe. It could be with friends. It could be alone. You just have a nice everything, some some nice cakes, some nice whatever. It's this feeling. Yeah. It's really important to them that when you when you have huga time, that everybody chills, you relax, no phones. Oh, oh okay. You know, it's that's nice though. Kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. I can't believe you guys don't have that thing. You don't have any. You don't even know that word. No. You guys are from nah. the south of huga. Sweden. You're supposed to speak Denmark. <laughs> no. Nah. You guys can't understand any Danish. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Just no, based on Swedish. Some, some words are quite similar. But that's everybody in yeah. Sweden in general, right? Just like... But I think like Danish is quite similar to English. They have a lot of mm-hmm. English words. In but, yeah, language. but I believe if you're Norwegian, what? then you can understand Danish much more than Swedish yeah. people do. Okay, yeah. so they're closer like that. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what languages do you speak? For real, though, because we already established you don't speak Portuguese or French. You tried to fake your way through it. He tried. Pas de français. I speak Swedish, English, uh-huh. a little bit of Portuguese, mm-hmm. French, All right. Spanish, yeah, and Lingala. Where's Lingala? You speak that in Congo. In Congo, Kinshasa. What's the, uh, why? Why do you speak Lingala? Because a lot of people from Angola, they moved to Congo. 
during the war. Oh, okay. Okay. So your parents speak both Lingala and Portuguese. Oh, they speak Lingala and Portuguese. Mm. What's it sound like? Like, what's it similar to? Is it similar to any European languages or no. nothing? Not a straight no, no, no. African, this is African yeah, yeah. language. If you have heard Swahili, it, it sounds like Swahili. sounds quite similar to Swahili. Okay. Yeah. Wow. What about you? Why don't you throw that in there? Oh, I don't speak Swahili. No, no, no. But I mean, <laughs> what uh, what are your languages? We oh, I around. speak uh, Creole, which is uh, spoken in the Sierra Leone, West Africa. Right. It is an it's an English version of Creole because they have a French version as well. They're spoken in Haiti. I think in North New Orleans, they speak Creole. Could be, could be. It's French. The French, it's a mix the, the of... The French Creole is totally different. I don't understand a word. Yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. And then I speak uh, English, Swedish. Okay. And uh, there's a, co- a language called uh, Soso. What is this? It's, uh, it's in uh, West African countries. So they speak it in the Guinea Conakry, in Sierra Leone, Mali, hmm. and... Uh, some parts of Ivory Coast. These tiny languages crack me up. I like see. never. Yeah. Yeah, but on, uh, I was fluently uh, when I was living in Conakry before coming to Sweden. Okay. Mm-hmm. But now basically no, I can just communicate. Enough to yeah, get enough. by. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy with languages because if you don't use them, you... You forget them totally. You don't forget them totally though. Not entirely. You just got to reactivate it. Exactly. Like if you just get into that, yeah. that whole mode and all that stuff, you know. I'm just... Okay. I'm. It's time for me. I'm eventually going to have to... I want to learn... Arabic, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I think Chinese. All these, all these. But how many languages do you speak? Because I know that you speak. Uh, they, they all, I talk about languages all the time, yeah. so it's always so. Spanish when I was a kid, that was the first one. Uh, obviously English. Uh, then came a love of Italian and French. Then I moved to Denmark. Uh, then came German, and then I played in Croatia. And then I played in Azerbaijan, mm-hmm. which Baku, do you know? Azerbaijan. Baku? Do you, you know where get your money in Azerbaijan? Uh, <laughs> I don't it think does, so. It right. does. Oil money. <laughs> yeah. The thing with over there, and I can tell you, since I'm not there, so our team was owned by Azerbaijan Airlines, right? Mm. And uh, this, is a, this is one of those places, yeah, once again. Yeah, you're past the line, right? Mm. You're past that line, which means anything goes. Um. They did a really good job, this club. It was a really solid club, so things were good. Mm-hmm. And I'll just say, if you win games, life is unbelievable. They love spreading the... They love bonuses. That part of the world, the Middle East, and a lot of footballers and people, just in general, I think... I, I, I won't speak outside of football because I really don't know, but the footballers that play in like that part of the world and the Middle East, when you do well, they shower you beyond. Like... In Finland, our club, we almost won the league. It was down to the last second that we didn't win the league and we qualified for the Europa League, which essentially, this doesn't mean anything to you, but what it means is that the club gets a whole bunch of bonus <coughs> money. <coughs> they get, I'm not, not a small amount of bonus money. They get a lot of bonus money. And so all the players in the run-up to like, we know we're going to qualify for Europe, like for this big league, we're all like, all right, let's, let's get those bonuses flowing. Like they're like, no, what's in your contract? What is the what is the what does it say here? What does it say here? No, you don't get any. Whereas in these other places, the second it looks like everybody's gonna like you're gonna win, they start spraying. Really? Mm, yes. Yeah. It's a cultural thing. Mm. It's really, and I'm sure it extends outside of football. I'm sure it's into uh, maybe Definitely. business and yeah. other things like mm. that. I'm sure it is. But like when you start, but there's a negative side of it though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah should I say? That? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, because he knows. He knows as well. <laughs> if you don't win, if you're not winning. No money. At all? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> maybe not at all. <laughs> what? Maybe maybe they won't give you anything at all, and they'll literally look at you and say, did you win the last three games? No. You lost the last three games, so why would I give you money? And I'm not joking. They won't. <laughs> why? We have a contract. I have a contract. Well, fuck your contract. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't win. I'm paying you to win. They think your salary is because I'm paying you to win, and then when you win, I give you more. If I give you a salary to eat by the way and to like live <laughs> and you don't win then I'm not giving you anymore I'll go find somebody else and they'll it's d- simple as that it's that simple oh my god I've even yeah. been on clubs where they uh, where like if you're playing well so for instance there's in football there are 11 guys that start out of the starters like if you are consistently playing well they will pay you and not pay the rest of the 
team or the, I've played on teams where basically like eight or nine guys are getting paid and the rest of the team is not getting money. It's a really, that's it's part of the football yeah. that, yeah. yeah, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't know how it, it's just crazy. It just yeah. is how it is. Yeah. It is how it is. <laughs> it's you know. How it is. Do we want to get a little bit of a thing? We only got because we yeah. have to. You wanna, Maybe uh, you're gonna bust out a new single. I mean, if you if you yes. need me on the backup tracks, like if you need <laughs> go anything, that's fine. I can do. A yeah, obviously bit you can spit bars. <laughs> you're a big artist here. I, yeah. I know you're a big deal. I believe, I believe his name is Per. If I'm Per, yes, exactly. Maybe Per can come. Per from the north of Sweden. Let's go with his weird accent. They already been making fun of him. Come on over here. Yes, oh. We get a live. Live. Uh, should I? Are you cool? Are you cool with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah? cool. I'm cool. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. What are you? What are you about to drop right here? What are we about to hear? Uh. I need. To, we need to get him uh, close to the mic. We need to get that uh, oh, guitar like close to the mic. Maybe? Switch. Yeah. Push that in. Uh, Do you think it needs to be closer? I mean, we can move the mic slightly closer, but I think we're pretty good. Yeah. This thing is loud. It's loud. I imagine it's loud. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't. I'm not sure if I know the lyrics. So I'm gonna be no, no worries. Speaking on the lyrics. No worries. No worries. We got but, you both on camera. You're good. <laughs> Life yeah. is good. What are you? What are you about to? You know, preface this at all? Uh, yeah. So this is my uh, next single. Ooh. It's not released yet. Oh, I love it. Uh, so it's um, it's called After Lockdown. After lockdown. After lockdown. By yes. Isabella. What do you go by when your your artist name? It's Bella. Just Bella. Yeah. Simply Bella. Oh, it's simply Bella. Yeah, simply Bella. But I might change that. Though. You might change it. Yeah. All right. Okay. So yeah, hopefully it's gonna be out when this episode is out. Okay. Well, when are you expecting to? Uh, October. October. Yeah. This will be. Yeah. This will be out before him. Cool. All right. Dope. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Nice. You have to lock down Hanging in the pews when the sun's out Cause I really feel like we're on top now And I've been only drinking till I'm knocked out If I get the feels when you dream of you Guess I'll miss you after lockdown I just wanna be when you make plans with you Drink until we're knocked out I'm not gonna be there for the neck piece VVS has got no value, only flexing don't you know the home is where the heart is And baby yours belong in my apartment Cause lately we've been building up So don't go tear it down Let's just say this I don't ever wanna hit the ground I think we're safe inside Don't wanna let you out no. Tell I'm gonna miss you after lockdown Hanging in the penis when the sun's out Cause I really feel like we're on top now And I've been only drinking till I'm knocked out if I get the feels when you dream of you Guess I'll miss you after lockdown I just wanna be with you Make plans with you Drink until we're knocked out Distance, we're no good at texting Swear I'm gonna miss it Kiss you on a daily and I wanna make you breakfast mm -mm. I don't really feel like we can lose We can just hit snooze Do it all tomorrow Sleep or fall the booze Know the time is borrowed Maybe so are you Maybe so are we Baby, I mean us I just wanna say that Damn, I'm gonna miss you after lockdown I was hanging in the pedis when the sun's out Cause I really feel like we're on top now and I've been only drinking till I'm knocked out If I get the feels with you Dream of you Guess I'll miss you after lockdown I just wanna be with you Make plans with you Drink until we're knocked out So I'm damn I'm gonna miss you after lockdown I was hanging in the penis when the sun's out Cause I really feel like we're on top now I've been only drinking till I'm knocked out If I get the feels with you Dream of you Guess I'll miss you after lockdown I just want to be with you, make plans with you, drink until we knocked out. Woo! Yo! Thank you. Wow. 
What's up? I'm amazing, amazing. Bombs here. Debut. Number one on Spotify. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Amazing, amazing. No, that's dope. Yeah. Great song. Thank you. That's right. awesome. Thank extremely, you. extremely. I told you that she's gonna blow yeah, up. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, yeah he told me. Yeah, he told me. He told me. Yeah. Oh, These two are the awesome. huge, man. I'm, believe me. <laughs> Talented. Say a little something. Just say a little. Say a little something. Yeah. What up? I would like yeah. his 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 accent sounds fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is that, where are you from? Where are you from? Just go ahead. We, I'm speak Swedish, maybe. We can hear. Swedish. It. Yes, please. Yeah, say something. And say something in st- yeah, exactly. Say something. Say something in standard Swedish and then in northern Swedish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, men så här skulle jag prata som vanligt. Som vanligt. Som vanligt. Yeah, yeah. Så här. <laughs> men om jag, jag kom från Jämtland, jag kom uppifrån. Oh. Men så kan man prata, prata så här, prata om det. Prata så här. Exactly. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool, man. Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, great yeah. job. Thank great you job. So much. <laughs> So awesome. Yeah. Well, cool. Listen, yeah, I believe um, before we leave, I would like to actually. Can you give spin some bars? Yes. Spin uh, some bars! He spins some bars! That's it. Yeah, Maybe for you can sure, play for something. sure. Play some. You can play some. Yeah, you, gotta right. be, you gotta be in front of the mic, though. Yeah, so you, wanna, you wanna stay here, maybe? Well, you we need to be this? able to get him on. Oh, but on I, camera. I, can, I can move. All right, all right. Yeah, so we'll go. Put you in the. Put you in the. Put you in the. Let me. You, 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 okay. I can. What do you need? I would like to take pictures and. Oh, okay. You wanna film? What do you need? To be honest, what do you want? To be honest, uh, I heard him. I know I've known him for a couple of years mm-hmm. through football. I see. Yeah, we have sim- um, mutual friends, gotcha. and we played a tournament together. Okay. And then like, years after, we, right. we met. Uh, I was like, "Yo, Buffus Cuisine." <laughs> What's that? Mm, Buffus Cuisine. Huh? It's, it's a mutual yeah. friend. Ah, okay. Um, I thought they were cousins. Uh-huh. So I'm like, "Yo, man, you oh, remember me?" Okay. And they were like, "We, we uh, change each other's numbers and stuff." Ah, I got you. And then randomly, I was like, heard him like rapping. Uh huh. I'm like, they were nice. They had to shut it down. I, mean, I, yeah, I, it. I lost no, it. I was like, yo, man, this is like, it's another <laughs> level. Because I, you, I, okay. I associate okay. with a lot of okay. musicians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See the basically and a lot of other. Yeah. And he was like, man, I'm like, you, you gotta, gotta, you gotta, gotta focus on this. You gotta do this, man. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do about black people? Uh, we plotting for the next chapter. It's not written, but I know what comes after. Cause we chase until we running out of breath for us gum shit. Fuck police and fuck that Trump shit. Better run quick. Hope it's all we have till this day, nigga. Police brutality still slay niggas. Can't even rap about these things, nigga. Without getting mad. Another son without his dad. This is so sad. I wanna give a shout out to my queen, staying strong, never in between. The smile is all we seen. But them cold nights alone, crying till you fell asleep. I'ma pray for you every day and every week. We need to praise our own and never turn our back. Black lives matter, this is a fact. I'ma react if you don't support this shit. And we will never quit. And this was all written down in the script. I hope all the soldiers didn't die in vain. 2020 killing us, we still in pain, but we maintain. Never the same and never equal Clock ticking, waiting on that sequel 400 years and plus, I think we had enough God forgive our sins if we roll up And squeeze that twigger towards our white man That killed that black man, cause it was frightening It was an innocent child, still no indictments These bars comes from my heart I pray I never find you in the dark Cause we came too far, can't stop near the finish line Don't ever brag about doing time Miss 2020, need to level up Invest in yourself, it's a marathon, not a sprint Always hustle up This shit ain't for retweets and likes I don't do it for the hype God gave me a voice so I can motivate The more blessings you get, the more people hate Uh, But I'ma keep on going Shine like a butterfly when it's growing Mm. I can keep on going if you want to. I can keep on going <laughs> if you want to. Keep on going. Got bars for days. Uh. Uh. The devil working. You trying to knock me down, but I'ma put the work in. Uh. Came from the mud, no excuses here. Seen a lot of dreams fumble in this atmosphere. Toxic environment, we grew up on that. But it's time to break the curses, put my life on that. Live fast, die young, it's what the streets said And you listen to more to that than what your mama say hm. Fuck your gram, this is real life The 
Depending on your likes is how you get the hype Nah, fuck that, I'm from a different cloth And your stripes in the streets is how you learn to walk Nothing comes easy in this day and time I'm fucking all these bitches, but I'd rather shine I need to cut these bitches off I'm just getting started, time to take off <laughs> Love it, bro. Wow. Yo. Wow. <laughs> amazing, so, amazing, amazing, yo. amazing, amazing. Where did that come from? Huh? Where did that come from? From, from my heart. heart. From, from the heart. heart. It came from the heart. Came from the heart. Oh, man. Well, uh, when you see uh, talent, you see it. Yes. These two, yes, man. Yes, you guys. Absolutely bold. And come back in. Yeah, throw yourself in here back on the camera. Mm, yes, yes. Oh, we at least <laughs> get a good sign off. Uh, you can sit there. It's no, yeah. no big deal. We Shout only out got, to Pat as well. We only got Amazing two minutes. on the guitar. Yes. Man, I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Swap headphones, you two, before you get crossed up. <laughs> mm. I think it's fine. You okay? Is it long yeah, enough? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Wow, on this podcast, it keeps getting better. We just keep keep up in the ante. You guys set the bar really high. Just exactly, for the next guest exactly. who's gonna come in. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to show them this last episode and be like, did you see what they did? Mm-hmm. Can you top this? No? Well, then I don't know if you're going to be a guest. So who's it that we're supposed to invite on? Aesop Rocky was coming on oh, next. Oh, Rihanna. Fucking Rihanna. <laughs> yeah, you guys are you guys are making it hard on us, too. Like, I got to go find, you know? Yeah. Jesus. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, we will make sure to link up to both you guys. Obviously, all this stuff, Spotify, all that stuff. You, you guys, you want to shout yeah. out to anybody in particular? Shout, shout out, out to all the real homies. All the real homies. <laughs> we, I mean, that's always homies. that's 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 a given. Shout out to all the real homies. For sure, for sure. Anybody? Nothing? No, nothing. You good? All right. <laughs> I will say Yemplan as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of Shout out to Sam. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. The best guitarist all right. in Sweden. All right, world. dope. All right. Well, we will see you guys later. All right. Peace. Okay. Peace. Thank you. Later.